In this video, Brady's going to show you how to put together your assembly square. Note that these parts have a chamfer, which should always go on the bottom edge. The bottom is the part facing towards Brady. Having assembled everything apart from the overhanging top lip, you should pre-drill with a 3mm drill. And only after pre-drilling, put your top piece on. And that gives you that final certainty that everything is held square. These are supplied with the jig. These are 30 millimeter long spax screws and you should drive them just below the surface to ensure that they can't foul on the shelf unit. Note also that it's deliberate that these little tenons are one millimeter below the finished surface. So the final process is to put those screws in the top. You'll just need a bit of downward pressure to self-thread, but don't, don't over tighten them. And that should ensure that the two top parts come together nice and tight. So there's your finished jig and you're ready to use it. You may choose to glue the jig together. And if you do, then I would recommend just putting a very thin line of glue on this edge where it meets that. I don't, however, think that it's necessary. And by not gluing, you can go straight to using the jig. It should be reliably square. And if you choose not to glue the top, then it does mean you have the option of removing and replacing it should it ever get damaged. We've designed it with rounded edges and chamfers wherever possible to avoid damage, but it is something like any jig that should be handled with care. If you did ever need to remove the top, you'd be able to take the screws out and Brady will just show you how you should best remove that. The safest way to remove the top, if it ever became necessary, is to offer it up into a corner. You could do this into the face of an open cabinet as well and just knock it down. Thank you. 